My main reason for this dangerous journey is to get my wife out of the war and to hold the hand of the love of my life again in Germany. Uh, yesterday, they took us to a camp. The, uh, all the refugees know the American camp is horrible. I told my friend about it and he told me it just run and run and I don't look back. Five kilometers away. It's called the American camp and uh, I asked it for a blanket and a pillow. As, as, as security told me there's only one pillow. It's my ass. So cold. He said, give your signature here. And I asked him, uh, but it's in German. He said, you have to respect us. If you don't want to give the signature, we will take you back to Syria. So I signed it. I told him, okay, take me back to Syria. I told my friend about it. So, and um, that's why <laughs> it's very, very important for him to get it. Red, no alcohol beer. Yeah, it's no alcohol. Um, to get the registration and then get the to the reunion to the residence yeah. with and the dream is to get to Berlin to get a residence and then to get her wife in a legal way out of the country. Yeah, in a legal way. So um, that she stays, or <coughs> she gets out of Aleppo. Yeah, and yesterday I was talking to her and uh, I can... She sent me the sounds from Aleppo. Oh, okay. okay. I will show it to you. The bombs? Yeah, the bullets and the fighting. Okay. The sound of Aleppo. In Aleppo, so this talk. In Aleppo, so this talk. Oh, oh. It's the sound. Of no, it's not. Wow. Yeah, sure. When did you talk? <laughs> when did you talk to me last time? In the early morning. Early morning. Yeah. At the end. And his wife is still in Aleppo. In Aleppo, so it just talk. Oh, no, it's not. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, when do you think um, you can get her out of Aleppo? I hope as soon as possible. Okay. Good journey, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. See you around. Yeah. See you. Goodbye. Cool. See Bye. you, Robert. All the time I'm dreaming about you and about holding your hand for the first time in, in Berlin. I have heard that Kreisberg is a great place to start a family. I miss you so much and I always remember the last hug between us before I got on the bus that left Aleppo. And I pray for your safety every hour of every day. I don't know what uh, the name of the camp I am in. It, I know it's about 110 kilometers away from the American camp. When we arrived, they gave us uh, shampoo, a bottle of shampoo and, and a bottle of hair conditioner. There is a hot water all the day, I guess. Can you believe it? The food is good here. And breakfast, uh, they, for breakfast, they gave us uh, bread with some honey and butter. And for the dinner, it's uh, like uh, the breakfast, uh, bread with some uh, cheese and uh, butter and jam and also tea or a coffee. The camp is near the battlefield. Uh, actually, there's a lot of good things also in this camp. For example, we talked to the Red Cross and they gave the children a ball to play with. They give us water whenever we want. The food is great. And also, if you want some cigarettes, you can buy it from the Red Cross. There's no library in here or school for children or anyone to, to teach us German, German language. And there's a football pitch near us outside the camp. And, but we can't play in it because it belongs to the, to the military and when 
when I see this sign, I feel terrible. How possibly they can build a camp in a military area? Uh, they, they are, there are children with us, and they can't read. If they accidentally cross to the military area, they will get shot. How is that possible? Think about the children and if any of them just cross the line. They are just children. Even in Syria, they don't build camps or buildings for civilian near the military area. It's for training, of course, not not a real battlefield. It's a field for training, for shooting. And uh, he told me that no one can cross the fences. There will be uh, shooting. If you went to another city in Germany, they will bring you back to Gießen and Gießen will bring you back to us. And in the morning, in the early morning, the two security guards came and woke us up at about 6.30 a.m. The security guard told us that there are three important roles. You have to respect us. If you didn't, we will not respect you. We just take care of food and sleeping for you. When we woke up, uh, there was a mobile phone missing, but <laughs> we couldn't find it. Uh, I asked him, so who's in charge here? Uh, who's the man I can talk to? He told me, no, we don't uh, care about this uh, kind of things. But he didn't tell me who's in charge. He said, nobody. And he said, this is a military area. No one can cross the fences. You have to stay inside the fences, inside the, the camp, inside the fences. And if you get out of, uh, of, of the camp, and you uh, walked uh, far from it, you will get shot. Can you believe it? I have to wait for about three months just to go to the medical exam. And without the medical exam, I can't have a residence. And without the residence, I can't reunion with my wife. I think uh, like I'm in prison. It's just tense and uh, surrounded by fences. It's like a prison. And the security guard told us, if you don't like it, you can go. Can you believe it? I did all this journey for you to protect you from the war. Uh, I will try my best. Uh, I will try my best to get out of here as soon as possible. Pray for me. Uh, shooting. All the time I'm dreaming about you and about holding your hand for the first time in, I'm in Berlin. Take care of yourself. I miss you so much and I always remember you must have faith. And I, will, I hope God will protect us. It's horrible here and Everybody has to be inside the bus. If people are too long away, the bus driver will go without you. So everybody has to look his safe how to come to his place. And I think it's not good, yeah? So this one are the information. So I wish you a good journey, yeah? Pray for me. He just came to the tent and told us. The translator here told us there will be a shooting. If you went to another city in Germany, they will bring you back to Gießen and Gießen will bring you back to us. You know, I only have about 300 uh, megabytes. So if Paul can uh, can s send me a package, but, but I guess...